Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today we're going to discuss a pretty interesting topic, and that's on parametric equations and polar coordinates. And I'm going to go over a brief introduction on this, and in later videos, I will go over the, both of these concepts in great detail. So stay tuned for those videos. Now, before I get further, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below in the video description. Also, subscribe via my email newsletter at mes.fm slash subscribe and donate at mes.fm slash donate if you like my videos. So, yeah, so if we uh, move forward, basically parametric equations and polar coordinates. Uh, so far in my videos, I have described plane curves uh, or curves around the xy axis, etc. Just on a plane or flat surface by the following. Y, uh, the number one is Y is a function of X. So in other words, for number one, Y is equal to F of X. Or number two, X is a function of Y. In other words, defining X equals to F of Y. And then number three is implicitly defining Y as a function of X, but not explicitly stating it as number one. So in other words, and an example of this is, uh, is you have a function f is a function of both x and y. And let's say we set this equal to 0, for example. And then what we have is uh, we define y as a function of x implicitly, but uh, not given right away that it's a function of x. And then you can still graph these, etc. Yeah, but now in this section, we discuss new methods for describing curves. And now uh, some curves are best handled when, uh, when both x and y are they are given in terms of a third variable t called a parameter. So sometimes, yes, yeah, so I'll show some. Uh, I'll show an example of such a curve. Basically, what this is is we're introducing a, a new variable t called the parameter, and for each of these x and y. So we'll have if we handle the x variable as x is a function of t, as well as y is equal to a function of t. Yeah, now these uh, equations are called parametric equations and the resulting curves are called parametric curves. And what's interesting is parametric curves are also used to represent letters and other symbols on laser printers. So yeah, when you print stuff, uh, they're using these kind of equations. And, and uh, we'll go over this, uh, this and examples on it in later videos, so stay tuned for that. It's pretty interesting stuff. And an example of such a curve is the cycloid, which is better graphed with a parametric equation and I'll get to the Wikipedia page has a cool gif of it basically a cycloid from a Wikipedia page states cycloid is a curve traced by a point on the rim of a circular wheel so let's say there's a point on the rim as the wheel rolls along a straight line without slippage so here's a straight line and now if you rotate the uh, yeah, rotate the wheel or the circle there and then you always just trace where this point is so it starts off at the bottom rotates all the way across and you have this uh, cycloid uh, shape right here and this is better graphed with a parametric equation so just to show you an example on it here's a click the Wikipedia page has a cool GIF right here move it in the center get it bigger yeah, so as you can see you the red curve is a cycloid and it's formed by rotating that uh, circular wheel or circle like that which is pretty cool right there so that's an example of it. Now let's go to a, the polar coordinate system. So other curves have their most convenient description when we use a new coordinate system, a new coordinate called the polar coordinate system. Yeah, and here's fix the type of a new coordinate system there. Uh, anyways, um, so now an example of such a system, and uh, this one's uh, better for graphs that are more circular in, na in nature. And uh, we'll get to examples on these in later videos. But uh, just a quick example is of such a curve as the cardioid. Uh, this is a cool shape. And it is a Wikipedia page. I'll get to that as well as a cool GIF. <clears throat> so cardioid from the Greek word, I'm not sure how to say that. It's uh, Greek for heart. Is a plane curve traced by a point on the perimeter. Yeah, by the perimeter of a circle. So the same thing as before. You have a point like this that is rolling around a fixed circle the same radius. So in this case... It's the same thing as the cycloid, except now we're rotating that same circle around another circle. So this same uh, red line is traced around, and then eventually what we get is a shape that looks like this, which is a cardroid. So here's a cardroid uh, generated by a rolling circle, and a cardroid given as the envelope of circles whose centers lie in the given circle and which pass through a fixed line at a given point. Uh, these are just basically different radius circles around it, but with the same exact center point. And it looks something really cool like this. 
So now if I go over here just to show you the GIF, which is on uh, Wikipedia. So as you can see here, just, this is uh, how the shape is formed, which is pretty cool. So just a point on the circle rotating around another circle of the same shape. Now graphing something like this, it's uh, not easy to do with, um, with just a standard XY function. So that's why a polar coordinate system is better, uh, a, which is actually a circular coordinate system. And we'll get to that in future videos. So that's uh, an example of it. So, and, and these are basic examples of cartroid uh, and, and cycloid of the um, polar co coordinate system and the parametric system uh, equations. And so those are examples and we'll go over a lot of this in detail. This is one of the most interesting uh, topics uh, that I've found in mathematics. So stay tuned for those. So again, I will go over these types of describing curves in the videos to come. So stay tuned. And especially the, the polar coordinate system, you can graph some very, very amazing uh, kinds of curves using these equations, such as this one, which is quite, uh, yeah, quite ridiculous. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you learned. And like always, uh, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.